It's weird seeing the moon in the early morning like this. Usually you always sense the moon like right before bed you see it or something, but it's cool. So this guy's remember today is gonna be super hot and we've already had a lot of sun exposure this week, so make sure <laughs> you're applying sunscreen and you don't want any anybody get sunburned today. I don't want my seatbelt on. Yeah. You're talking about safety and you don't have your seatbelt on one? Unreal. It's it's early. Brain's still kicking into gear. What a beautiful morning. Oh, this is awesome. Look at the sunrise, guys. I kind of forgot we were vlogging this morning. Thirty-eight feet. A few on the box. Sean, <laughs> got some pole issues here. Uh -oh. got a little difficulties. It is a beautiful morning to be out in the water, and today the mission is to catch as many snapper as we can, specifically red snapper. The red snapper season has been open for a while, and we have not maxed out on our red snapper, so every year we try to catch as many as we can to last us through the year, and so far it's been a decent season. We've gotten a few, but there's still room for a lot more. So we're out here about 15 miles out in the Gulf, and yeah, it's kind of spotty thunderstorms. There's some lightning over here. A band of weather going through so we're just trying to kind of see if it's gonna pass if not we might just set up camp here and do some fishing for a while it is a beautiful day and honestly the cloud coverage makes for nice weather because it's not too hot so we're gonna take advantage and drop our lines down see what we get all kinds of activity down there it's and like I'm a whole family even, fish I'm not even over the point yeah girl All right. Yep. Not a big one, but looks like a keeper for sure. The first red snap for the day. Unfortunately, he's just shy of 16 inches, and they have to be at least 16 inches in order to keep him. That's the minimum uh, length. So this guy, he gets to go back free. Got some small on. All right, the jack. There's no size limit on these, so he's a keeper. Have a little fish on. First one. Whoa! Hold on, that's a little saint. I think the dolphin or shark got him. Oh man. That's a good one, girl. Another Almaco. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. How's your girls out fishing yet? I know. Keep bringing in keepers. Well, we just decided to move spots. Um, the other place was really promising and we caught quite a few fish. I think about six in total. But um, unfortunately, with the drift, it just wasn't working. We kept drifting away from the fish spot and so we decided to move spots. And um, this net spot should be actually really good. My cousin Logan, not too long ago, caught a humongous red snapper here. The biggest I think I've ever seen. And so maybe there's some fellow brothers and sisters like that down below. We'll, we'll have to find out. 
starting to feel a few bites. Oh yeah. So there's kind of two things this could be. We saw a big shark and a big cobia. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No, it's all good as a shark. We want them gone. We're so close to um, Eglin Air Force Base, which is the biggest Air Force Base in the world, actually. And so we're used to seeing flybys by all kinds of aircraft. And so we just saw the AC-130, the gunship, pass right overhead. And um, Grandpa was saying they're probably looking down at us saying, man, I wish they were on the boat fishing. So, yeah, we're happy to be out here. We're actually about to wrap up, though. Probably about five or ten more minutes, and we'll head back in. This is our grand finale for the snapper season. This is the last good day before the season closes until the fall. And the snapper are just now biting. It's so exciting. It's like they just woke up or something. We just got three in a row that are keeper size. So we're super excited. Close, but not close enough. Trigger. Oh man. Alright, well, Whoa, Hudson. Alright, Hudson. Nice All right. ones. Man, it has been a great day. Caught a lot of fish. Cool coolers full, so we're excited and we're gonna about to head home. Time to play the fish and clean this boat up. Get the veggies going. I don't think you'd make it in the surface oh. now. Okay, don't don't mess with it. Where did all my training go? I used to be able to juggle. Yeah. Oh. Alright, alright. So these are beautiful tortillas that my wife made. Well, this is a master tortilla maker. I'm gonna roll out these little puppies, and it's honestly one of my favorite jobs in the kitchen. I love rolling out tortillas. And meanwhile, I think Asher's gonna cook the fish. Plus, is gonna chop up some veggies, and we're fixing to make herself a great lunch. It's been a few days since our fishing trip, and we got over our sunburn, and now we're about to enjoy the freshly caught fish that we had, so I'm excited. Fish tacos is one of my favorite meals. I'm so excited. My job is the tortilla flipper. Man, these are beautiful. Morgan's did a great job. All right, it's the last tortilla. Now it's time to get on to the main attraction, fish. At the end of the day, the whole art of fishing is really contingent on what bait you're using, or in some cases, what lure you're using. Because if you're not using the right bait or lure, the fish just really aren't interested. And um, when it comes to being a fisherman, you know, sometimes you can think, man, these fish, they're pretty dumb because they're falling for this. You know, obviously there's this giant hook sticking out of this fish that I'm giving to them. But um, in a lot of ways, we as people are very similar to fish. And we bite onto all kinds of stuff that aren't good for us. And this is especially true when you're thinking about the life of a Christian. Because for us, we're trying to follow and pursue um, our hero and savior, Jesus Christ. He's supposed to be our ultimate treasure. And there's so many things in our world and our culture that are competing for our attention and our devotion. And those things, when it comes down to it, they're really just lures. And lures, they're trying to mimic something that's real. So for a fish lure, you're trying to mimic you know, a certain type of fish or sometimes it's a frog. And these things, they, they grab our attention and they, they lead us into thinking it's something that it's not. At first look, it looks beautiful and attractive, it's shiny. Sometimes they have a little spinny thing on it and you want to go after it. But as soon as you bite down on that, you're going to instantly regret it because you're going to feel a hook in your mouth and that thing's going to drag you away to places where you never wanted to go and keep you there much longer than you ever wanted to stay. And so it's just a great reminder for us as believers to stay focused and on track so that when we see these lures all around us in our daily lives, we don't follow after those things. We remember, 
man, we're on track, we're trying to follow Christ, and so we, we, can't, we can't give any attention to those things. Because if you're not strong enough, then you can't break that line once you're hooked to it, and maybe you'll even end up like this fish right here. So, just a good reminder. Awesome. Thanks for this hard work. Yeah, this looks good, guys. Thank you. You pray for us for Oh, that's good. Awesome. Dear God, thank you so much for this good day. Thank you for life and for a chance to serve you. Thank you for your provision and for your beautiful creation. Thanks for the chance to go out and gulp fish, bring back some food, and now enjoy this meal together. We love you. Thank you for our family. And we pray all of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Thanks, man. Let's dig in. All right. Let's do it. Oh. Guys, oh, so great. Thanks for watching The Wild Way, and double thanks if you've already liked or subscribed to our YouTube channel. If you want to get more involved with us, visit our Patreon website. Hit the link below to learn how you can become a member of our Patreon team and partner with us. Also, you'll get awesome benefits, like exclusive vlog videos, like Wild Brothers merchandise, and a lot more. 